Hey guys, this is singer saxophonist Rick Parma from LA, and I just want to say thank you so much to a couple of different people from the NAM show. Uh, now, the NAM show, if you're not familiar with it, is the National Association of Music Manufacturers. There's a huge convention that happened here in Anaheim, California. A uh, massive convention, one of the biggest in the country. It's crazy. Uh, first off, we'll start off with um, Nate Brown, for, uh, the president of Key Leaves. Key Leaves, this is a very cool little uh, device that this gentleman created. I first heard about it from my friend Jay Boykin. And basically what it is, it's just these cool little rubber inserts that are shaped kind of like uh, scoops, right? And you just kind of slide it underneath the bar that opens the pad. And so when you're getting ready to put your saxophone away, you put it in there and it opens those keys without being abrasive or, 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 or you know, putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on the springs or anything like that. What's really cool is that for everybody that knows who plays the saxophone, the G sharp key is something that always sticks, always sticks. Um, it's one of those keys that close when you put in your case. So, but if you lift the C sharp pad, it also lists the G sharp pad, which is really cool. Uh, it was the one of the first. That was one of the first things that I was thinking about when I first heard of this, and I was wondering like, oh, does it? Do they have one for the G sharp? But you don't need it. You just put it under the C sharp, and pops open the G sharp. So uh, it's really cool. I feel everybody should get one if you're a saxophone player, just to preserve your padding. Um, the next person I wanted to give a huge shout out was Jody Espina, of course, of Jody Jazz. Jody Jazz, or Jody Espina is a you know, renowned saxophonist himself, and he designed, uh, he designs the Jody Jazz mouthpieces. Well, this year at the NAMM show, I wanted, I passed by their booth and I wanted to check out their new ligatures. Their ligature, it's a, it's just a silver, they have a silver and a gold one. It's just a solid ring about that wide and you slide it around the mouthpiece and the reed and just kind of locks in place. Very simple, very easy to use, but it creates a great closure on the reed uh, and, and, and it promotes a really good projection, really good intonation, really good uh, everything. And when I was getting ready to just to purchase one, he came over after hearing me play for a little while and he was like, man, I really like you. What's your name? And I gave my name and um, he goes, you know what? Are you getting ready to purchase this? And I said, yeah. And he just looked at the, the young lady that was helping me out and he said, make sure you give him the artist discount. He didn't have to do that. I mean, it was it was already a sale, and but yet uh, he was in a conversation with somebody else doing business and had the kindness and the 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 personal character, I believe, to come over to me and introduce himself and then do that. I, I really appreciate it. Um, it really made me uh, get to see him in a, in a light that I didn't know him as. You know, I never got to know him. never got to meet him last year before at the NAMM show or any other year prior. So when he came over, he introduced himself and I thought that was really awesome. And I, uh, I really love the product. Um, the mouthpiece and the ligature and I will continue to be a Jody Jazz guy as long as they continue to make products just like this and continue to strive to be the best um, in the industry that they are so I appreciate it thank you so much Jody um, go to his website jodyjazz.com j-o-d-y jazz.com the third person I want to thank so much is the inventor of the Reed Geek I know it may sound kind of funny but this is the inventor of the Reed Geek his name is Moro Di Gioa I can't say that properly because I have no idea how to say it. But uh, Mauro, M-A-U-R-O-D-I-G-I-O-I-A. -I -I so if you know how to say that, you're already cooler than me. Um, but he is the inventor of the Reed Geek, which is one of the most ingenious Reed uh, tools. This thing is designed for working your Reed down to a perfect, perfect flexible uh, Reed that just always plays, always, always plays amazing. Even uh, David Sanborn himself, um, has quoted them as being the only tool that he uses for his reads. And of course, the final person that I really want to promote is, of course, Peter LaPlaca, who is the, the, the person involved with uh, Sax Dakota, the company that in, endorses me and has made me two amazing, amazing horns. Uh, I've done videos on uh, the horns themselves, but uh, Sax Dakota had customized two horns for me that are beautiful. They play incredibly. Um, they were actually kind of a hit around NAMM. Everywhere I walked around, people asked me like, wow, people thought they were Cannonball because Cannonball has a certain dark kind of horn. But I was like, nope, sorry, not as in Cannonball. This is uh, better than Cannonball. So the Sax Dakota is just an incredible, incredible product that um, these guys make uh, based out of Barrington, Illinois, uh, my hometown, uh, not Barrington, but Illinois. And um, 
I just really appreciate them, appreciate what they've done for me, um, and, and a lot of the other artists that are, are with them as well. So I just want to thank you guys over at Sax Dakota. You guys are incredible. I just want to say thank you to all these great people that I met at NAMM and have been working with over the years. I just want to thank you guys so much. You make amazing products, and I can't wait to see what other amazing things that you guys come out with. And I'll see you next year at NAMM. Peace. Uh, if you're if you're a weed if you're a reed player so if you're a reed instrument player you've got to get a reed geek